In a previous video, I did a schematic capture and layout of a four-pole filter based on a design from the SSI 2164 data sheet and app note. I'd gotten most of the way through it. The PCB itself could use a little bit of cleanup on the silk screen. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got a power connector that's overlapping, that's overlapping some stuff. So this is going to be largely unedited. Oh, the M power stands for MOTM style power. So there's different ways you could hook up the power. So we also have a UR rack option. Uh, just to make this a little look, 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 a little more. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, okay, here's jumper one. I actually want to rename that. Let's call this, nope, not that. Um, okay, it's going to be easier to get this on the schematic. Sorry, this is going to be a terribly boring, tedious video. So I want to rename this Eurorack Jumper. Let's use name. And, oh, now I see why it's going to be difficult. So can I name it separately? Like if I, okay, I'm going to move JP1 to see if I can figure out how to, ah, Let's do name. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the part. Yes, there we go, and not the wire. All right, so let's call this EPWR for Eurorack style power. And, okay, I like that. that. That works. I like that. This one looks a little big by comparison, doesn't it? doesn't just look a little out of control. Let's bring that down to 50, sure. Something I would like to do is to label... The voltages. Oh, since I'm moving silk screen, I'm going to lower my alternate grid size to one instead of 25 as usually do, or I think five as it defaults here. So let's use the text tool to create a indication of the voltages that we want. Ah, that is not the layer that we want it on. Let's put it on T names because that tends to show up reasonably well when you export this somewhere. All right, so to make it consistent with some other things, let's decrease the text size here. Okay, so let's show plus V or show V plus, I should say. Ah, okay, so that's on this side. So I'll put the minus 15 over here and then let's copy it. And then, so then the other side should be minus 15. And let's check that. Um, info, should be able to click on info and change it. Ah, here we go, minus 15 V. All right, just to make sure it makes sense, V minus, okay, so that's where that V minus is. Let's copy the same thing for the Euro rack uh, to make it, mm, let's see how do I want it. Oh, I'll put it here. Uh, it's a little smushed, but whatever. All right, so let's change this to whoop, plus 12 volt because that's the standard that your rack uses. And we'll have, wait a minute, let me double check that V plus. Okay, V plus is on this side. All right, and V minus is over here on this side. So let's use info to pull up the dialog for this and change this to minus 12. So we have things indicated. Let's take the name of what the power connectors are and move those around a bit. Let's see, where do I want to put this one? Oh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it up. Let's just move it up. So we'll put that power there, put the M power here. And then I'm going to copy this guy here to indicate where we put our grounds. So I'm going to use info to change that to ground. Copy, do, 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 change this to ground over here. Okay, so now I've labeled the various power supply pins. So apparently there's a dope for standard that red stripe is ground because dope for, for some reason decided to use the red stripe for the negative supply. And But th that's not actually universally consistent. So if you do have a Eurorack system, be very careful when plugging these things in. All right, so let's take a... Z whoop, did not mean to select that. 
Let's take a zoom in here and see what we could possibly clean up. Um, okay, let's take, let's put this capacitor. So these are the bypass capacitors that you would install if, uh, I just like to make that look like that, yeah. So if you are building this for your rack, you would install it like thus. And if you're installing it for the Emotium style, you do that over here. And just to make this consistent, let me, oh, I don't know. I just feel like making it look the same on either side here. So we'll put the 10, just for consistent, there's, I didn't have to do that. Nothing was overlapping. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. This, ah, so when you click, see this R1 is not really on top of the resistor it's associated with. So I'll move it like this. The R3 here, that's associated with this resistor. Maybe we'll put it, how about we'll put it here? What about this one? Ah, that's the setting of the resistance. I wanna leave that in there. Oh, there's a big tangle in here, isn't it there? Okay, so here's C2, here's C1. Here's the resistance marker for that, so maybe I'll put it here. Um, how about let's put it here. All right, what else do we have overlapping? I've got C8, ah, whoop, C7, got C8, and then let's just move that over for fun. Ah, I'm going to... The, the P is kind of hidden here, so I'm going to drop the text size down a bit to make that P show. <laughs> that was uh, okay, here we go. Welcome to quarantine. 11, 12. Okay, so that, that all looks kind of nice. Uh, this is overlapping that one a bit. So let me put it... Um, if I put it over here, it'll be less ambiguous as to what it's referring to. R99. There we go. Not... You know, you could look around and see what's what. Not a whole lot of problem. Now, is there is there some text under here? What's going on here? Ah, oh, this is a special special thing where, depending on what you're doing, you will um, use a different kind of resistance here, depending on if you're using Euro rack or if you're using the MOTM power standard. So actually, oh, you know what? What I want to do is let's change the value. So I'm going to take the, I like to do this a lot. I'm going to take the unit, the K. Sorry, I had to scratch my ear there. All right. And I'm going to use it to replace the decimal point to both make it more compact, but more importantly, if make it more, make it harder to lose the decimal point or make it, get rid of the decimal point so you won't lose it later. Okay. So... This is whoop. This is the pitch. There's probably a way to lock layers so I don't keep accidentally doing that. I want to move the names of the things down here, and then we'll put... Okay, so this is a 10K. Maybe we'll put this sideways like that. Yeah, I like that. All right. This is now... This is the modulation amount control. So we'll stick that down here. Let's clean up. Okay, here's R102. Uh, here's R101. Here's R100. Like thus. Or do I want to put that over on the other side? Let's see if I do that. Yeah, I like that. Let's put that over on the other side. Do 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 do. So we'll move over our R101, moving over R102. All right. 